so as you know, we live in a fast moving world, but taking some time to block it all out might actually help to enhance your mind's performance and improve your life altogether in general. Dr. Norman Rosenthal is the author of a new book called Supermind. We talked recently about how to improve your work and personal lives through Transcendental Meditation, or TM. The nonprofit foundation founded by filmmaker David Lynch co sponsored the doctor's book tour. The foundation advocates TM for survivors of violence and abuse and for veterans with post traumatic stress. Dr. Rosenthal, first of all, what is the supermind? The supermind is the mind at its best functioning. So when you're most creative, most productive, and feeling a feeling of richness and joy in your life, that's when you're reaching your supermind. You know, normally when we go for things, we sort of go directly mm -hmm. for them. This is an indirect way that is quite effortless. What is it exactly? Well, the process of transcendental meditation means sitting down twice a day, closing your eyes, and thinking a word sound or mantra as you've been taught to do. And what happens then is you go into a very nice space in your mind called transcendence. And when this is repeated, that place moves into your everyday life so that the peace, the joy, and the insight that comes about translates into your daily actions, your daily choices, and your daily feelings. I'm thinking when we're awake and conscious, we, we're thinking one way. When we're sleeping, we're thinking a different way. Um, is there a third way that we should be thinking? Is that what you're pointing really, at? Really, there's also dreaming. There's waking, sleeping, and dreaming. But when you meditate, there's a fourth state of consciousness mm -hmm. where you're awake and alert, but you're not actually thinking about anything in particular. And you're very calm and it feels very blissful. It's like you're going down into the depths in a diving bell, into the depths of yourself. Mm. And that's the fourth state. And then when you do this for a little while, that moves into your daily life. And then really almost without trying, things begin to shape better themselves because your choices are improving, your demeanor is improving, your attitude is improving, and everybody responds better to that. But we're in the state where we're go, go, go all the time, electronic uh, devices going on, going off, your cell phone constantly ringing right there by the side of your bed. How do you disconnect from that to bring yourself to the space where you can even begin to tap into a super mind? The first thing is to make that decision to say, you know, go, 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 go. Where am I going all the time? Maybe I need to have a pause in the day. Mm. Then once you've made the decision and you learn how to meditate, you turn off your phone, you go to a quiet place, you retreat into the self for 20 minutes in the way that you've been taught to do. Because it's not just clear your mind, empty your mind. Your mind was, doesn't work that way. But by saying internally this mantra to yourself, the mind naturally opens up. And so instead of going away for a weekend retreat, mm. you get two little retreats every day. Mm. And it really is transformational. Well, the book is called Supermind, How to Boost Performance and Live a Richer and Happier Life Through Transcendental Meditation. In this book, uh, you're going to teach us how to do this. I am, and, it's, and the lessons are very enjoyable because mm -hmm. they're all through stories, including stories of very famous people like Hugh Jackman, who's yes. right on the cover, um, Cameron Diaz, mm -hmm. Jerry Seinfeld, Martin Scorsese, all kind of household names. Yeah all meditate and all show evidence of the supermind. Well, if you want to be in good company, I suggest you pick up this book, Dr. Norman Rosenthal. Excellent work. Thank you so much for sharing with us today. Lovely to be here. Thank you so much.